is up guys i have just finished filming an update video about the surgery uh not necessarily the final one but sort of quite a big update with everything um and i thought i'll put that on youtube and then whilst i'm actually doing something i can film the reaction sort of not reaction what's the word um review of the rumors we've heard about world's strongest man however as everyone will probably have seen by now um world's strongest man have just made an official announcement um about half an hour ago so whilst i was recording um the video about my surgery world's announced all the events so i thought being a good influencer and all of that sort of thing i'll jump on i'll swap the video award around and we will chat about the official world's strongest man announcement the first thing is the dates have changed very slightly so it was the 18th to the 23rd uh it is now the 19th to the 23rd so it doesn't really affect too much but it does mean that it's three events a day so that is going to be rough world's strongest man is a totally different animal to all other strongman competitions and there are people in the world who are fantastic strongmen but don't do that well at world's strongest man and that's because it is so brutal it is sort of two two day shows back to back or four one day shows back to back and if you approach each of those days like a one day show and you get fired up 100% you're going to burn out real quick and with three events a day this year that's going to be even that's going to be a bigger factor and I am really excited to see how everything goes see how all the work we're going to do pays off because believe me the lads are going to be working hard and it's going to pay off yet again this year so the events they have no um announced we have a loading medley um it's a standard world's strongest man event everyone knows loading everyone knows what loading medleys are you pick up some kind of stuff you carry it somewhere else you put it down you sprint back and you repeat until a nice normally icelandic man blows his whistle and you can go and lie down in a tent somewhere after that we have the deadlift machine coming back we saw a car deadlift we've seen normal deadlifts uh, but I think it was in Manila the last time we had like the keg loaded deadlift machine a piece of equipment I absolutely love to me that is representative of world's strongest man a uh, piece of kit that I think um, Jamie Reeves and that sort of worked on and invented way back in the day gnarly bit of kit where you're sort of hoping that the machine runs really smoothly and you're just pulling as soon as you're told to pull because you're trying to save every little bit of time possible um it's really interesting and it's so different from a normal deadlift it's going to open the field up really well and then the final event on the first day of the qualifiers is a log ladder um i know the two guys i'm backing to do really well in a log ladder um they both have the same surname, so it makes it easier for me to shout at them. And it is going to be amazing. I love watching a good log lifting ladder. You save tiny bits of time, the transition between the implements, the strongest shoulders are at a massive advantage. But if you just are strong when you're stood in one place, you're going to find yourself dropping down the point. So it's going to be really interesting to see what happens. Then everyone gets to go back to a hotel, eat a bad amount of food, and try and sleep and try and recover ready for the next day on the 20th we have um conan's wheel to kick it off i as a fan of strongman love the conan's wheel i think it's a fantastic event it looks really cool i love watching guys suffering and like the brutality of world's strongest man as a coach i hate it because of all the reasons i love it so it's going to be really interesting the plan as ever with every event be the last one out and do the minimum um you get a massive advantage if you're winning the event before uh that you can go out and do the bare minimum either for points or for the win you know decisions are to be made at the time then we have kettlebell toss um 
a really good event uh, for the lads as well. It's a really great event, both super explosive. But again, this comes down to those tiny differences, not making mistakes, not fumbling anything, not doubting yourself, not having a second go at any of the implements. And, you know, we've seen high drama in all the uh, throwing events at World's Strongest Man where you get... Brian Shaw, Thor and Z going head to head. Z having two or three kegs in the air. So really excited to watch this one. And then it's a stone off, which I I like because I know if I've got someone in the stone off, they're going through the stone off. However, it's it's not my favourite event. Last year the format worked really well. Um but I just think I wish there was a better way. But I don't know what that better way is, just to keep the excitement really high as well. The Stone Off is like a really big, like fiery event, and it's so good to watch live. When you're actually there, it's amazing, and the atmosphere goes wild. So I know why it's in, I know why it'll stay in. But if there was a better way, I wish they'd use it, but I don't think there is to sort of tick all the boxes. Then on the 21st, we get a day off. It is a day to do as little as possible to recover to go and see all the massage teams see the medics see the physios make sure you are in tip-top shape because you have just been through two brutal days of competition and then to top it all off the next day you have to go into the world's strongest man final for me this is where the work starts i love the world's strongest man final the feeling on the bus there's 10 of you on the bus instead of you know the bus being full the athletes are quiet. There's the fun sort of stops. It's work time and it's amazing. It's the highlight of my year is the world's strongest man final. I love, there are other competitions I love. I love going to the Arnold. It's two days and it's brutal and it's heavy and it's such a gnarly event. But world's strongest man this year, four days of competition and they're all brutal and they're all really posterior chain dominant event so yeah that first day of the final when the tension's high and the atmosphere's going and you walk off the bus and you can feel the electricity in the air the crowd is starting to arrive the athletes are fired up it's just unbelievable and if people can get to Myrtle Beach go because in the past and I'm very open about it I have said if you want to watch World's Strongest Man, watch it on the telly because it's not got the same atmosphere. Go and support Giants Live. Go to these arena shows. But last year at World's Strongest Man, it felt like an arena show. It had that atmosphere and it had the buzz. So this year, I know the guys are going to have worked even harder to make the experience for the fans so much better. So I would recommend getting over to America especially to watch the World's Strongest Man final, which kicks off with Fingal's Fingers. I, again, as a fan, love this event. It's awkward to train, though. It's hard. The first event out as well. So it's one where being calm and being consistent and not making mistakes are absolutely key. We need to get out there, just get through the event, is, I don't want to say damage limitation, but you don't want to go in like a bull in a china shop and not perform and make stupid mistakes. I'd sort of I'd rather come third than last, if that makes sense. As a coach, that's sort of my outlook as what we're trying to do. We're managing a whole weekend. And you'll have seen from Worlds last year with Tom's performance. We were just there constantly chipping away, not making mistakes, focusing on getting good finishes, and then knowing that Tom's Tom Stoltman and World's Strongest Man is going to finish with an event he should be winning. So it's a good thing to have. After Fingal's Fingers, we're into a deadlift, which is going to be rough because you are going to be fired up. The adrenaline will be high. We'll have a reasonable break, hopefully, and then it's deadlift time. Again, you want to be the last one out on the deadlift. You want to be playing a points game and... I'm really excited to see how the lads get on and how the competition sort of pans out. To finish that day off, though, is a shield carry. So your posterior chain is going to be fried. It is a rough event. 
Luckily, I know two guys who are pretty good at carrying stuff for a long way. And as I always said, they're both really good at being really unhappy for longer than anyone else wants to be. So I am super excited for the first day of the competition. Then we have a Max Dumbbell. Again, as a fan, I am excited to probably see a Dumbbell World Record get broken. I'm less excited because it's it's an inconsistent event. If you don't have the exact dumbbell loaded with the same material in the same way, same temperature, same tops, everything the same as what's in competition, you can come unstuck pretty quickly with sort of heavy dumbbells. So we're going to be doing a lot of work getting everything nailed. But again, when you coach people with the strongest shoulders in the world, going into a competition with the rest of the people with the strongest shoulders in the world, any max overhead is going to be exciting. After you've just chucked the heaviest dumbbell possible overhead, it's time to pull a vehicle. It's at Myrtle Beach, so I have no idea what it's going to be, but I'm assuming it's going to be something cool and really hard to pull. So that is going to be just good, a good, solid event. And then it's World's Strongest Man. So we finish with the Atlas Stones, and I am a big fan of the Atlas Stones. It's really easy for me to say Tom's going to win Stones, because the odds are, unless he makes a mistake, in my eyes he's the best stone lifter who's ever lived, especially in like an Atlas Stone run, or for a max Atlas Stone. So that's going to be great. But the thing I'm really looking forward to is seeing the off-season pay off and getting Luke the performance he deserves in the stone, because I know what he's capable of, I know what on paper he should be doing. This off-season and the work he's put in, it it makes me genuinely proud to think of what could happen at World's Strongest Man this year. So, sorry for a badly filmed, if I'm being honest, video explaining World's Strongest Man, but I've seen that the events have come out, I've seen that the dates have changed, and I need to be less bad at YouTube and doing stuff. So I just went maximum influencer mode, get a video out and see if people like me talking about the sport I've made a career out of for the past seven or eight years. So I'm going to try and do more strongman content. I'm going to do more content generally. And then next week will be sort of the final update video about the surgery but very briefly out of tape just a few dressings in a couple of places got a horrific suit thing on still which i hate um and we are four weeks five weeks until i can climb again hopefully i'm going to start training a bit more but i will update you all more about the surgery and the recovery and everything like that soon but thank you if you've managed to listen to me ramble for a little bit of time and at the risk of repeating myself like comment subscribe do all that stuff ring the bell whatever people say to do um, i will try and do this more regularly we're gonna launch some stuff where the strength academy members can do q a's that i'll answer on here so we'll be getting actual useful coaching content out but yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you all at Myrtle Beach.